Whenever you're making geometric constraints, it's always going to be done in a sketch mode. So once you have your sketch tab pulled up, all your geometric constraints are here. And you have coincident, collinear, concentric, fix, vertical, horizontal, perpendicular, parallel, tangent, smooth, symmetric, and equal. Okay, these names are important because when you look at these, it's going to ask for specific things like perpendicular. Use your perpendicular constraint, click on the two lines, make them all parallel. Parallel constraint, click on two lines, click on two other lines. Uh, it says dimension number three to two inches. This is a numeric constraint. This is not geometric, but it still works. It's all in the uh, constraint toolbar. So we're making this two inches. Then it says to fix circles one and two. This is our fix button. This means that when we click on something like this, it's going to be locked in place and it will not move. And then make three tangent to one and make three tangent to two. Make the circle tangent to both lines we can leave our tangent constraint on, click on the two lines, fix point C. Fix. And by C, it doesn't mean where they put the letter C, it just means the entire circle. Uh, make endpoints A and B coincident with point C. And that just means they share the same point. Make the circles concentric concentric circles means that they all share the same center point. Make the lines collinear. So here's our collinear constraint. It means that they share the same line. Make the lines horizontal. Do not click on the midpoint. It's the only way you can mess this up. Click on the line itself. Uh, same kind of thing for vertical. equilateral triangle, use equal, make these two sides equal, make these two sides equal. Circles the same size, still the same constraint, and then the centers need to be horizontal. Here's where horizontal does not have to be applied to lines, it can be applied to points. So I'm using the points of these circles and make them all line up. 